Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to interface push buttons with our STM32F446RE microcontroller. Let's get started. So this is the user manual of the nuclear development board. In this user manual you can clearly see the B1 user push button is connected to PC13 and the onboard LED green LED is connected to PA5 of the microcontroller. So our logic is very very simple that we built in the previous video that is we just uh, turned on the PA5 LED whenever we get a low signal in the PC13 since the push button is configured in pull down logic, pull up logic. So whenever the button is pressed the PA5 LED will be turned on and whenever the button is released the PA5 LED will be turned off. This is the logic. So let me just alter the program for achieving the output. So in previous one of our video we just developed the same driver for interfacing push buttons with the STM32F446RE. But that time we just wrote our own CMSYS file. We just created our own CMSYS file but this time we are just going to use the standard CMSYS file from the silicon vendor that is the ST Microelectronics. So ST Microelectronics has provided a CMSYS file that is the Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard Files for this particular ARM Cortex M4 based STM32F446RE microcontroller. So we are just going to utilize that particular CMSYS file in this video for doing and achieving the same output. So this is the program that we wrote. So this is the user defined CMSYS file. I hope you remember that we just created the structure required for GPO for referral right over here in this header and the CMSYS structure for RCC for referral in this particular header. And we included these two headers right over here and we wrote this particular program which successfully interfaced the push button with our STM32F446RE microcontroller. And now we are just going to utilize the CMSYS core file from the silicon vendor that is the standard CMSYS file provided by the silicon vendor. So what I will do is I am just I will just delete these two. I am just going to remove this file. Yes. Remove this file also. Yes. I am closing everything and I am going to remove everything right over here. And the only file that I am going to include right over here is the STM32F446XX.h. So this is the CMSYS file from the silicon vendor that uh, is available in the Keel Microvision ID. So while configuring, we will be including this particular uh, microcontroller in the configuration of Keel. So I hope uh, you remember the how to configure. We just configured the uh, the project for this particular microcontroller in several previous of our videos from the beginning. I hope you remember that. So I am just including that. So in the bottom you can clearly see there are some errors. So this particular error is telling that there is no hb1 underscore enr thing like that. And here it is mentioning that there is no such thing called o speed er. And here it is mentioning the same. So these three are the errors received. So this program is completely based on the user defined CMSYS file as I mentioned on the previous video. If you want to learn or if you missed that video, please watch that video before watching this video because this is the continuation from the previous video. We are not going to write down this program from scratch. We are just going to alter and solve this error so that we will get the same output. The output is very very simple whenever I press the user push button that is PC13 user push button from the nuclear development board, we will light up the PA5 LED that is onboard LED in our nuclear development board. And if we release the push button, we will turn off the LED. This is the actual output of this program. So I am just opening this and I am searching for RCC. You can see here is the RCC structure 
and let me just find AHP ENR. So it is like AHP ENR continuously, but here I have mentioned like AHP underscore ENR in my user defined uh, CMSS file. So I'm just making it the same name as the default available CMSS score AHP ENR. And similarly, I'm just going to find GPIO. This is the GPIO structure. So this is uh, like O speed R, but here we have mentioned like O speed ER. So I'm just replacing this. That's it. The other registers are similar. You can see ODR is not throwing error. Type R is not throwing error. Mode R is also not throwing any error. And also CR is not throwing an error, which means uh, it is common with the uh, same CMS uh, standard file. So we need not change it. So I'm just compiling this program. Just uh, press F7 in your keyboard or this particular icon for compiling your program. You can see the program is compiled with zero errors and zero warnings. Now for dumping the flash, I'm just going to open this options for target debug. Select the ST-Link debugger in the drop box, drop box, and click on settings. And make sure you see the ID right over here. If it is not visible, please re reconnect your nuclear development board to your PC and uh, click on this checkbox download to flash and click on OK. OK. Now click on this particular icon or F8 in your keyboard for dumping the program to your microcontroller. You can see the program is being downloaded to your uh, nuclear development board that is STM32 F446RE microcontroller. The programming is complete. Now let us try to visualize the output in the hardware. Then this blue color button is the user button and when we press this button our LED must be turned on and when we release this button our LED must be turned off as you can see. So I hope you learned the method for interfacing push buttons that is input devices digital input devices to our microcontroller STM32 F446RE in our microcontroller RE. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.